what were you doing right before this call? I so I had just taken a shower and then uh, I was catching up on whatever things had come my way while I was taking a shower. Um, and then I had a conversation about with you about what the situation will be, who gets to be in what room while we're recording this. I wanted to be on the outside and you reminded me that you were on the inside when you did the interview. And so um, it made sense for me to be on the inside. And so here I am. Sounds good. What were you doing just before this call? So I was talking to uh, a postdoc of Peter Stone's who is on the job market and she's Israeli and she's interviewing the two Israeli universities. She has an offer from bar Ilan already, right? Which is where Ido Gadan and Yom Goldberg are right now, I know. But she's actually interviewing at Cornell in a, I don't know when, I forget, I don't know if she told me when. But anyway, she wanted to do a practice one-on-one -on -one, because I guess Peter likes it, his students to do this. But I told her it was a little bit odd because Usually when I do a one-on-one -on -one with a faculty candidate, I'd seen their talk and I hadn't seen her talk. So I found it a little bit awkward, but I, you know, we tried to discuss some things. I, I could even talk about what we were talking about, but that's what I was sure, doing. Sure, <laughs> sure. Um, and it, it's nice that you're able to get back to, uh, you know, you're doing all of that uh, in the middle of <laughs> the only summer. days I missed meetings were actually Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I, I had pretty normal days. Once I settled in my friend's house, I had pretty normal days on Thursday, Friday, actually. And then, you know, Monday again, like I said, I've had power. It's just the water is an inconvenience but it's not a, a life destroyer like yeah. losing power is what were you doing right before this call um right before this call i was thinking about things i should or should not be saying in the interview just before that i was joking with my wife about things that she wanted me to say which would not be <laughs> sort of things that i wanted to say and then before that i was working uh on writing some code doing some research what were you doing right before this call? Oh, I was writing an email, which is probably like what everyone was doing. But in particular, I was actually writing some emails to people that I want to talk to for the first time. So it was pretty fun. You know, like it's always an interesting thing to start a new collaboration. And then I think in particular, I'm trying to work on some new ideas that I haven't really worked on myself. So I'm just kind of, let's say, sending out cold emails to some of the people that I have vaguely, you know, like the heard of, or, you know, like the met perhaps once or twice. So, you know, usually as professors, we write emails, you know, really, really quickly, often short, and then, you know, like without too much of those, you know, like the, how's the weather today there or whatnot and whatnot. But this time, you know, like the, I was actually writing a couple of emails that are very, very carefully written compared to, you know, what I've been doing, you know, the, I was capitalizing all the correct words to capitalize and so on this time. So that's what I was doing, in fact. Interesting, interesting. Uh, I can imagine that uh, students might relate to this, particularly given that this is, you know, admission cycle. And so cold right. emails and reaching out to people you don't know is, is something right. that, that you mm -hmm. relate to. Uh, what were you doing right before this call? Before this call, actually, I was I was eating. Uh, so, <laughs> so during this pandemic, there's almost no time for for lunch. So you hang up from uh, from one meeting and you join uh, join another meeting. And sometimes I will be left with like ten minutes for for lunch. And sometimes I have to cook in in that ten minutes. So it's uh, it's a bit uh, yeah it, uh, yeah I was I was I was uh, eating. Eating before before uh, before this call. <laughs> okay, I, I hope you got enough time to finish your. Yeah, your... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I finished, yeah. So, so I heard, yeah, there, are, uh, yeah, there are, uh, in this eating contest, uh, there are two two tracks. One track is like eating a lot of food, and the other track is uh, eating fast. And I think after the pandemic is over, I'm well prepared for the for the fast eating contest. So that's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we can all relate to that. <laughs> what were you doing right before this call? Uh, I was working on some slides for a talk tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> academic life. <laughs> yes, yes. What were you doing right before this call? And I, I should note that we're talking on a Sunday. So this isn't a regular yes. day. 
Yes, yeah, so I'm afraid I had to the, defer the start of the call a little bit because I got the time zones right, but I didn't realize that the Formula One would start an hour later my time. So I, uh, I've just been watching the first uh, Formula One Grand Prix of the season. Yeah, uh, is Australian the first? Is that is that still the case? Uh, no, this is in Bahrain, uh, and uh, it was super exciting. Yeah, so the the hottest young talent, uh, Max Verstappen, is against the by now you know wildly elder salesman statesman, Sir Lewis Hamilton, and uh, it was it went right down to the to the last lap. It was very exciting. Awesome, awesome. What were you doing right before this call? I was, I was trying to figure out some math um, regarding some sort of camera transforms. Um, that's exactly what I was doing. Haven't solved it yet. So I was like, okay, I need to work on this after this. Oh man, uh -huh. that is that is such a computer vision flex. Uh, you know, I, I was in my regular daytime. I solved projective camera geometry problems. <laughs> yes, I mean, you know, it's part of, part of the job to figure that out. Yeah. Yeah. What were you doing right before this call? Oh, I was writing you an email. <laughs> no, you and a couple of other, uh, yeah, I was writing an email to some collaborators about a meeting I had this morning. Mm. What were you doing right before this call? Um, and I should note that we're talking on a Sunday. Sunday, yeah. No, Sunday is, is a, actually normally it's a nice uh, lazy day for me. I hang around doing a few chores and, but today I, hung around doing nothing because I pushed all the chores <laughs> later and I just walked, came to school uh, to do this. But yeah, so it's been a generally a lazy day. I just came, did a travel after one year and got back yesterday night. And so it was fun. So, so what were you doing right before this call? I was in a meeting about um, COVID misinformation debunking uh, with a computational social scientist. We have this small uh, NSF rapid to work on understanding misinformation surrounding COVID. Hmm. Fascinating. Um, anything interesting? Well, um, we were just discussing what, what constitutes uh, misinformation, I suppose, because there's different, uh, not ontologies, but different classifications, different people keep track of, you know, hmm. how often uh, a news source failed a you know, fact check. Um, we were also looking at multimodal aspects of persuasion and misinformation. Um, Interesting. So what were you doing right before this call? I was in a meeting actually. Uh, I was in a meeting with some students and uh, some people from Microsoft Research just discussing what we do next with the project. Hmm. Not very excited. <laughs> but uh, sounds, <laughs> sounds, uh, sounds typical, sounds, I'm not surprised. <laughs> yeah, I could, I could imagine. <laughs> yeah. So what were you doing right before this call? Oh, well, that's not hair related. Um, no. <laughs> um, I, so what I was doing right before this call is that I just ordered this little kit to, um, it's like a little stand for a Raspberry Pi camera. And so I was just looking at all the little acrylic pieces and I was going to try to, I was trying to decide if I had enough time to put this together or if I no longer had the dexterity to do something this tiny quickly. And so I, um, I opted on the side of, of waiting, but that I was unboxing it and looking through it. That's what I was up to. My, this is my, we're at my work desk right now, and this is my fun desk. I, I think you're, so, you're, you're taking the robo part of robo NLP very seriously. <laughs> it's, this is fun. And the great thing is I highly recommend this to other people that are particularly if we're going to continue to do pandemic stuff for like a while. This two desks set up in a, in a spinny chair means that anytime I need to disconnect from work, all I have to do is rotate. And now I'm in, I'm in Toyland. Mm. So, um, so yeah, I, I, I've been doing this parallel thing. So, so before this, I had a small break and so I was in Toyland. Sounds good. So what were you doing right before this call? <laughs> uh, well, right before this call, uh, interminable meetings, but, um, I did, um, make lunch today. So that was fun. Um, uh, what did I make? Um, 
I made some lentils with goat cheese, which is really nice. Um, I guess one nice pandemic feature is being able to take some time to, to make lunch uh, during the day. Yeah, that sounds yummy. <laughs> yeah, it was really good. <laughs> so what were you doing right before this call? Uh, I just finished an hour and 10 minutes of lecture um, right before this. What are you teaching? Uh, undergraduate machine learning. So oh. we just went through perceptrons. It's a, it's a glorious age. <laughs> yeah, it, it is wonderful at that level because you can you can really make a difference and you can see the spark. And Yeah, we're wrestling with all sorts of probability problems, but people are getting it. Um, I, I actually just scheduled an extra block of office hours this weekend because um, that's, that's who I am. Uh, you know, like dogs and kids can see a sucker when they see, like, see one. Um, <laughs> and I always fall into that category. So I'm doing extra office hours this weekend. So what were you doing right before this call? Um, so I had 30 minutes between like after my previous meeting and this meeting. Um, and so I tried to like go to my to-do list <laughs> Um, and see what I could fit in in a small amount of time. Uh, so I made a few um, re revisions to a document and a paper um, uh, that we're putting together. Um, yeah, but I'm pretty bad at using the small slots like this when there's a, a small gap. And also I was a bit apprehensive about this, uh, <laughs> this, so that was kind of weighing on my mind. So. Yeah, a mixture of that. I don't think I used the, the, the 30 minutes uh, really efficiently. I think I probably got maybe 10 to 15 good minutes out of them. Yeah, there's there's a Paul Graham essay on the maker and the manager schedules and the maker schedules. Like even if you put an hour meeting in the entire first half or the second half, just the existence of that meeting weighs on your mind and you're unable to get started on something that might require you a full day to finish. Or a, a right, recipe. right. Yeah. yeah, I suffer from that a little bit, I think. Yeah. So what were you doing right before this call? Uh, I was having a meeting with uh, one of uh, the people I manage at DeepMind. Um, and we were discussing uh, what projects we need, we should be doing uh, uh, in the next uh, sort of uh, a few months and and years. Does that does that seem uh, surreal with everything else going on in the background to just go through the motions of regular daily work? I mean, it's the uh, it's. I mean, it's, it's sort of a responsibility, like uh, particularly the work that we do. Uh, I'm responsible for the AI for Science team at DeepMind. And I mean, uh, I feel a great sense of responsibility uh, in terms of ensuring that the opportunity that has been given to us, um, which is leverage this very powerful uh, technology towards um, tackling some of the greatest sort of challenges that um, us as a society we are facing. So, and so, yes, there are a lot of things that are happening in the world and a lot of unfortunate things and there's a lot of, uh, there are a number of tragedies and, and so on, uh, but, we all have to sort of uh, persevere and um, and and get the best of what we have uh, at the moment. And so, I personally feel, and I, I think I can say this for many of my colleagues uh, that I work with, we really feel uh, a great sense of responsibility for ensuring that. Um, Whatever we are doing, we shouldn't stop it and we should just make sure that, uh, in fact, do it much faster because if there is one thing that the last couple of years has shown us is that as a civilization, we, are sim we simply do not have a great understanding of uh, nature um, and 
we need all the help we can get um, human and artificial intelligence to make sense of uh, of these challenges. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I just want to note uh, for people watching this that we're recording this as uh, COVID is having a particularly um, devastating impact in India. What were you doing right before this call? Having lunch. Uh, <laughs> It's a work from home world, right? So it's been quite a different 15 months and uh, I have spent more time with my kids at home, been interrupted more often, um, make them lunch every day. I, I had lunch with uh, my wife and daughter, in fact. Do, do you have an actual block on your calendar? Is that something you... Okay. Yeah. So that that was a, it, it. was quite a quite a transition process, right? From the chaotic March of last year, 2020, to figuring out how to organize the time and how to block times. And then I decided there were times of the day that really I had to be there for the family, and so I completely changed how I go about doing certain things. Yeah. So what were you doing right before this call? Well, so you guys, I was having a lunch with a colleague and we were discussing the wonders of bureaucracy and enjoying um, a, a cake. She actually bakes uh, dessert uh, a couple of times a week, I guess. And there's a group of us usually get together for lunch, but because it's uh, just before a holiday, a lot of people aren't around, but we discovered that uh, we were both here today. I normally am not in. Uh, uh, and so we grabbed uh, some lunch together and, and she brought delicious chocolate, almond, honey-based cake. Interesting. Sounds, sounds yummy. <laughs> oh, it was delicious. So what were you doing right before this call? Oh, um, the usual stuff, meetings and coffee and some more meetings and some more coffee. <laughs> There's a, lot, Sorry, yeah. there's a lot of boring, coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a, a bit of an owl and I have a hard time in the morning. Hmm.